Proverbs chapter 3, verses 3 and 4. Let not mercy and truth forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So find favor and high esteem in the sight of God. So in addition to the word of God becoming our rule and our command, here we are instructed to observe mercy and truth. The word mercy, as it is used in this verse, refers to the kind of love we have for people that makes us loyal and faithful to them. So mercy here in this context is not talking about having pity on people, but it's talking about being faithful and loyal to people. So it's, it's a statement about loyalty, although the word is mercy, the, the Hebrew word means loyal and faithful. Uh, it is being good to people because you are committed to them. Then the word truth uh, refers to being firm or trustworthy. So two things are mentioned here, mercy, which means faithfulness, and truth, which means to be trustworthy. These are two components that God wants us to bind around our neck and write them on the tablet of our heart. Why? Because they affect our relationships with people and our, our relationship with God. Every relationship we have that is beneficial will require these, that we are loyal and that we are trustworthy. When people trust us, they commit much to us. The more they trust us, the more opportunity they give to us. The less people trust us, the less open doors we have. So if you want God to show you favor and you want people to show you favor and be nice and be kind and be generous to you, then the Bible says that you have to show loyalty and you have to be trustworthy. Now, the passage says that when you do that, you find favor and high esteem in the sight of God and man. Not only God showing you favor, but man also showing you favor. And that, that's a great place to be when God likes you and people like you. And so things are working for you because you are loyal and you're trustworthy to the people you have relationship with. So practically, how do we develop these two attributes of loyalty and trustworthiness? I'll just give you two suggestions. Number one is that you have to appreciate what people do for you. We must not take kindness that is shown us for granted. Now, many times people do things for us which may not seem to be very big. It may seem very small, but it is significant. And we must learn to say thank you. We must learn to appreciate people. And if it is possible to do something back to the person, uh, for the person to know that what they did for you has been well received. Appreciate what people do for you. Don't take goodness for granted. Don't take people's efforts at helping you for granted. Second, if we're going to build loyalty and trustworthiness in our lives, we have to keep our word to people. When we make promises, we must keep them. I know that sometimes it's difficult to keep your word, not because you don't want to keep your word, but because circumstances change on all of us. But we must endeavor that once we make a promise to somebody and, and give our, our promise, that we keep our word so that people trust when we say something will be done. When you tell somebody, I'm going to do it, they know you're going to do it. When you tell somebody, I will be there, they know you will be there. We have to get to the point where our word is like money because when you give a promise, you honor it, it's reliable, and you become trustworthy, and you become loyal. And when you do that, the Bible says you find favor with God and with men. May God make you such a person who has favor with God and with men. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you are faithful and dependable. Help me to be a faithful and dependable person in all my relationships. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. May the Lord help each one of us to be faithful and dependable in our relationships. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.